Hey everybody, welcome to another quick save review with me, RC. A quick save review is basically a let's play mixed with a review for a game that I'm currently playing, and I'm currently playing Radical Rabbit Stew. And yes, this is a game about making rabbit stew radically. This game is really, really cool. It's an old school throwback game uh, that has like an over the top camera, sort of like Zelda or old, you know, zombies ate my neighbors type of, type of look. Uh, but it's very, very cute. Um, it's a sort of like action puzzle game, I guess you could say it is. Uh, you play as a little chef who uses his big spoon to knock these rabbits into a pot of stew for good reason. And we will check out the story in just a second here so you guys can see what that reason is. Uh, but this game is basically the full package. Um, just to let you know, it does have, uh, not only a single player campaign, but it has a versus setting, which you can play couch co-op with your friends. Uh, which we might show off in just a second here, uh, after we show off the single player. And there's actually a stage editor, which we'll also get into, uh, that has Steam Workshop support, because we are playing this on Steam. So if you want to make stages for it, upload them, and have people play your levels, you can do that, which I think is super cool. But first, let's jump into the single player. Uh, you can see that I have uh, already started a game. We're going to start a new game, though, just so that way you guys can see the story. Because uh, I love the way this game starts out. It's very, very funny. Love the art style, love the look. You guys can't see him, but there's a little talking rabbit. I'll sit over here so you can actually see him. A long time ago in a galaxy far away, there's a space diner. This was home of the legendary space chefs. Famous for their delicious food. Little did the chefs know that the rabbit queen was jealous. One day, the rabbit queen grew tired of her tasteless vegetables. You can all imagine where this is going, right? and decided to abduct the Space Chefs. Her minions ruthlessly cracked down on the Space Diner. That's... that's no good. Oh. Harsh! Only you, the cleaning boy, managed to hide. Can you save your chef friends? And that's where we take off here. We're basically getting vengeance on these rabbits by turning them into rabbit stew. Uh, this beginning is pretty great, too. He plays this little blue chef guy here. You run over to this chest. You can see he's still in the diner, which I think was a great touch. And he's crawling out of the pot that they showed in the uh, art piece. Just from this look alone, the cleaning boy needs to be added to Smash Brothers. Like, just... <laughs> that was my immediate thought here. Alright, so I'm just going to give you a taste here of a couple levels, uh, and then we'll jump into my main game just so you can see. So, yeah, here you go. You play this little chef guy. There's a cute little rabbit. You hit X next to him. Boom! Knock him into the pot, and you win the level. Jump into this next one here. And you're going to have these springs. So you hit the rabbit into the spring, boom. They hit the pot, they're gone. Look at that. Uh, we're going to actually exit back out to the title screen here. Uh, you can see that uh, during gameplay there that there is um, a bit of a screen flashing stuff going on there. So uh, I want to let you all know that if that is a bother to you, because I know sometimes that is a bother to me, uh, you can go to video settings. Uh, and turn flashing lights off, okay? So if that does bother you, you can turn that off, which I, I think is a great touch. I feel like any game that has any kind of effects like that, you should be able to turn off. Uh, so let's head back into single player. Let's jump into where we left off. You'll see that uh, the, these little blue emblems are up here that you can collect. There are 69 altogether. I've collected four so far. Most levels have a little blue coin that you can collect. 
Uh, we'll see if the Silver Comet level here has one. Uh, it doesn't. But we apparently are learning a new ability here. I just picked up this new spoon. So apparently you can get the big old spoon here. And you can hit the rabbits off to the side here. You don't want to get too close to the edge because you can fall off the edge. There we go. Another level down. Uh, and as you can see, you are navigating a little map like you would do in like an old school Mario game or that kind of that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, guys, I absolutely am really. I, I love this game. I, I love the the style of it. Okay, we're gonna hit this big guy here. He's gonna hit the. Woo, look at this. How fun is that? So cool. <laughs> we weren't able to get the coin there, but just watching all the rabbits ricochet was just like a ton of fun. So we gotta figure out. I love that this rabbit just keeps sleeping. It may not have been the right spot. Uh, let's see. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. I gotta figure out how to get those coins though when the rabbits are down at the end there. They sort of like block my way. I don't know if there's an easier way to do that or not. Oh, you can actually hit the spring to knock yourself into there. Okay, that's cool. Boom! Got him in. Not to mention, by the way, people, uh, there are also boss levels in this. I have fought one boss so far, Gigantic Rabbit. Ooh, that's not good. By the way, if you knock... <laughs> if you knock any rabbits off screen, that is the end of the level for you. you. Your goal is to get every single one into a pot. So you don't want to do that. Okay, there we go. We got one rabbit. Knock those guys into their pots. There we go. We got him in there. Yeah, a few things will completely start you over. Um, one is uh, knocking a rabbit off that you didn't get into a pot. That's one thing. Another thing that will happen is you will uh, fall off the stage and that will start you over. It's really the only problem I've had with this game so far. Because so far, you know, you can see I've played almost 20 levels of it. Really, really digging it so far. Um, but the only thing that sucks is like, for example, here show you this. If your character ever falls off the stage and you have to restart, instead of the game... Oh, actually, okay, yeah, because I have two hearts. So if I fall off again, I'll lose my second heart. I was like, why did I get back? That's why. Um, you'll see it, it kicks you back out to the map. So I wish it would actually just restart me in the same level because I want to keep going, uh, but it kicks me back out to the map, which I'm not the biggest fan of. It's not a huge deal. The levels load quick enough. Uh, but still, you know, I, I just wish they handled that just a bit differently. Okay, we hit a carrot. Oh, wow, he really wanted that. Oh, that's funny, so if they eat the carrot, they become the big fat rabbit that sleeps. Okay, so we're learning all kinds of new stuff as we play here. And what do we got here? This is a Bunlands is a very interesting looking <laughs> looking level here. Let's check this out. We might be uh, might be close to the end of the the level here. How am I supposed to get over there? Ah, there we go. We had to hit that weird <laughs> vegetable minecart thing. Oh boy. It's one of the chefs, we gotta save him. Oh my god, look at this dog in the rabbit suit. Ah! I'm not quite sure how this is all working, but I must be hitting him. I feel like the mid-boss was actually a bit harder than this boss. It was 
a big rabbit would hop around all over the place. Oops. Oh, run! Oh, he flattened me. Oh, it just keep hitting the rabbits. Hilarious. Oh, okay. I see. The, the trains are, like, losing carts and engines and stuff here, so I just gotta... Oh, get out of the way! There we go. So I got one more. There's no more, and that's the end of it. Look at that, just like that. Yeah, that boss battle is actually easier, I feel like, than the mid-boss with the, the rabbit. There's a gigantic rabbit. We won't play that. I'll leave that for you guys if you want to check it out. But look at the story that develops here. Single-handedly disarmed the evil pugs. Bunny. Oh, pugs bunny. Get it? Huh? Excellent art art style in this game. I can't say it enough. I love the pixelated, or the, uh, the, the, the pixel style in the main game. Love the... Uh, you know, the, the drawn uh, art that they have here, too. It just all oh, is very, very nice. I love the, uh, not just the look and feel, but the atmosphere of this game, too. It's, like, very silly um, and just, like, a ton of fun. I, I really dig this game. To Aroma and beyond. Coney Soup Bay, here we come. We may have to check out a level of Coney Soup Bay here before we move on, but, man... Yeah, guys, I, uh, I'm a sucker for any old throwback game that's actually well executed, and this is definitely one of those games. Look at this, we got a completely different tile set. I'm gonna really look forward to uh, checking more of this out. By the way, the bunnies hatch from eggs? How do you guys feel about that? Is that a problem for you? All right, so we got a, oops, that was the wrong way. There we go, we got them in there. But there's more to get. Look at the fat rabbit up on the uh, <laughs> up on the inner tube. I kind of love that as well. All right, uh, we are going to do this, I guess. Look at this. Okay, and we got him in. He had like a little curve on there, so. The second world is definitely introducing some new stuff, which is cool. All right. Uh, I think that is enough of the single player for now. I think you guys kind of get the point. I don't want to play the whole thing for you here. Uh, I do want to show you versus here. I do not have anybody else to play with, but you can start a game, which is you and uh, it's me on the controller, and then I just hit the keyboard to start. Uh, you can play four pe people locally. Uh, let's see. I played on the grasslands earlier. Let's check out the graveyard. That looks spooky. All right, so the way this works, uh, you can see it's laid out sort of like Bomberman in a way here, and the, the whole idea here is you are just trying to get... Ah! You're just trying to get the most rabbits you can into that middle pot. Uh, and I think it only applies to the white rabbits. There we go, so we got some. And as you can see, we're... Definitely winning here over the other guy <laughs> because they can't play. But I can definitely see this being like a really, really fun mode to play um, if you have more people to play with. I could definitely see this getting really zany with four players. But there you go. You kind of get the point of that. Uh, let's head back. And I want to show you, uh, last off here, I want to show you the stage editor because I think it's super cool. Uh, here we go. Stage editor. So I have actually created one stage. And I created this one earlier. Uh, very simple stage, but if you go to hit play, here we are. We got our cleaner boy. He grabs his spoon. And the way I have this set up is that the bunny will just keep bouncing and bouncing and bouncing, and you need to time your hit to get him into the pot, like so. So, like I said, very, very simple. Uh, let me go back to stage editor. And you can pick between your stages. Um... And from what I can tell, you actually need to create four stages, like you're almost creating a mini world before you upload it here. So all you gotta do is go to the screen arrow, you can upload it. Uh, I have not upload or downloaded anything from the Steam Workshop yet. I don't even know if there's anything 
up there for it at the moment. I imagine the developers must have. Let me let me take a quick look here. Let's see, guys, community hub. All right, so we do have community hub here. But it's possible that the Steam Workshop may not be up until it releases later today. But regardless, it does have the support for it, which I think is super cool. And as you can see, you can edit stages. Let's actually, I'll just show you real quick offhand how to edit stages. They start you off with like the little grasslands here so you can make that, but anytime you can hit Y and you can grab, you know, oh no, Siri's going off in the background. I don't know if you can hear. I really gotta turn her off. She keeps popping in every now and then. Um, but yeah, you can uh, grab these other tiles here. You can lay down like brick if you don't wanna fall off. Uh, of course, you can go back in and you could pick the uh, plunger as we had here. So you could put in uh, plungers. If you want to bounce some stuff off of there, uh, you can also go back in and pick rabbits. So you could pick from the all kinds of different rabbits the big fat rabbit, the little rabbit. Uh, you could pick the scary, ghosty rabbit that we just saw in the graveyard there. Um, but yeah, overall, like, yeah, you even have the ice patch, the sand patch that we just saw in the desert world we just unlocked. There's also several different spoons and a finger poker thing that we haven't even gotten to yet in the main game. Um, but yeah, guys, that is basically it. Uh, but when I say basically it, I mean, this is a game, uh, that in my opinion comes with a, um, a lot of stuff to do. Uh, I feel like this is a game, I'm playing this on Steam, runs great on Steam, I feel like the perk of playing this on Steam is you're going to have the advantage of, ha of the Steam Workshop, so if people are creating levels for it, you're going to have a lot of levels to pick from to play through, uh, you know, different worlds and stuff like that, that people are creating, uh, that you'll have access to. I don't know if that's going to be available on the consoles, but of course, the perk to having it on the console is I feel like more people are likely to play this couch co-op in multiplayer uh, on a console, but you can do it on Steam here. So if you want to settle around a PC, you know, if you have a PC set up in your living room to play this game with friends, you could do it that way as well. Uh, but yeah, guys, um, I really like this game. I, I definitely recommend it. I love uh, simple throwback games that just get it right and are fun to play. And this one has all of that for me. Like this is <laughs> definitely a game uh, I will be uh, playing more of because I'm just having a ball with it. Uh, but guys, I just want to say thank you for watching, and of course, I'll see you all next time.